it's Sarah from Apricot Polka Dot, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a pom-pom pineapple. This is one of my favorite pom-poms, and it's sort of a sculpted pom-pom, and it's really not that difficult to make, and it really turns out super fun, super cute for summer. So to get started, you're going to need some yarn, and these are the colors I have. I have two different I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby yarns. This one is the cream color. This one is menth, if you can see that there. And then this is the Red Heart Super Saver line, and it is cornmeal. And I really like to have two different colors of yellow, one slightly paler, just to give it a little texture. And then the green is for the top and also for a little bit of the flex, the green flex in the pom-pom as well. You're also going to need two different pom-pom makers. I use a tiny, my smallest one, and then my one size up from that as well. You can also do this in a bigger size. Just make sure you have one that's a little bit smaller and one that's a little bigger, and then just some pom-pom scissors. So to get started, we're gonna actually make the top first. And I'm going to use my green yarn for this, the menth yarn. Now to get um, a top, we want it to be kind of a fluffy little, a t fluffy little tip for our pom -pom, for our pineapple. And so we're gonna use the smaller pom-pom to do this. And we're actually only going to use one half. We're not going to fill up both. So you're gonna just make this like you do any other perfect pom-pom. And again, you can catch my video, how to make the perfect pom-pom in my YouTube videos, and you can figure out how to make the perfect pom-pom. So I'm gonna just start twisting this and then we'll, we'll cut it off in just a minute. Okay, so we just made just a half of a pom-pom. So you do everything exactly the same, but you just are only filling half of your pom-pom maker, tying it up just like you would a normal pom-pom, but you're only doing a half. And that really is all there is to it. And then you're going to end up with this just kind of a half size. Now when it comes off, it's going to be kind of, it looks kind of funky. You want to find the point where your strings are the smallest. So as you can see, that will kind of help me decide where, what the top of my pom-pom or my pineapple stem is, pineapple leaves. So this is going to be the bottom where this, where the yarn is the the smallest, the strands are the smallest, and then the top is just going to go up from there. You can sort of see a natural shape to it, and you sort of want to fluff it up just to just to make that look the best. Cut off your extra strings there, and then we'll we'll trim it up um, just a little bit too. So I'll get it. I'll go ahead and get it sort of trimmed up real quick. Okay, so that's all we really need to do is for our little our pineapple top we're just going to leave it kind of like that because obviously it's leaves it's nature it's not going to be perfect so we want it to be a little rough and fluffy just like the leaves of a pom-pom or the leaves of a pineapple I keep saying pom-pom and pineapple I get those inter intertwined okay so now we're going to make the base of our pineapple and we're going to do that and we're going to actually use all three colors um, at once and that makes this go a lot faster than, and actually some of the time what I like to do is kind of, I double up the, the pale yarn because that's the color I want the most of. So I take my string from the center and from the outside and I'm gonna double up my pale yarn. But for the green and the cornmeal color, I'm going to actually just use one of each. But I'm going to, I'm going to twirl this pom-pom with four strands all at once. So it's actually going to go pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started and then we will come back and trim it up. Okay, so here we have our pom-pom, our pineapple pom-pom, it's looking pretty good. So as you can see, it's got multi colors in there. We've got our green, we've got our cornmeal, we've got our light. All of it looks really great and as you can see it sort of takes on an oval shape like it's not perfectly circle if you wanted a perfectly circle pom-pom you could trim it but I kind of like to use the natural shape of the pom-pom to make the pineapple because pineapples are sort of oval shaped 
So I'm just going to trim this, but I'm going to try to keep that oval shape as much as possible. Okay, so we have a pretty good looking oval shaped pom-pom, a great pineapple shape. The nice thing about pineapples too is that they're kind of rough, and so you could actually leave some of the strings a little longer. You don't have to make it perfect because pineapples are not very smooth and soft. So now that we have both of our pieces, we're basically going to just stick them together. Now when I first started making pineapple pom-poms, I always sewed them together by hand. So I would use a large needle and I would stitch through, directly through the top of the stem, come through the bottom and do that a couple of times to make sure it was really secure. Now I really just like to hot glue because I find that it is just easier and sturdy and it's not as like floppy as um, hand tying might be. So I kind of make a little spot in the top of my pom-pom where my top is going to go. And then we're just going to grab our hot glue and we're going to just glue right into the center here. Make sure you work quickly with hot glue. Find the bottom of your pineapple stem and we're going to just stick it right on there and then you're going to want to kind of push it in so that it sticks to as many of the yarn fibers as possible and let that kind of dry. And you can see how you are going to get the cutest pineapple pom-pom. If you want to string these into a garland, there is something you sort of need to be careful about. You can't just go through the center with your string as you would with just a circular pom-pom. These are really bottom heavy. So if you do that, they will just flip on your garland. So what you wanna do is you sort of want to put your string through this top, like right kind of through the, the tip, the leaves of your, of your pineapple. So you want to go through there where it is secure, but that way they will hang down and not just flip upside down when you put them on the string. So that's just a little tip. So you can string these onto a garland. You can put them on a keychain and make it a little bag dangler. Any possibility with these cute little pineapples. They also make great gifts, but they will certainly spruce up your home for summer, make your home feel a little more tropical and a little more sunshiny. And I hope you enjoy.